I want to show you how to make a pallet table. Uh, this is a pallet table that will hold two pallets, one flat and one at a slight angle. And it's actually very easy and inexpensive to make. Um, the first step is to cut some lengths of two by four. A two by four is, this is a two by four, which is actually only uh, one and a half inches by three and a half inches. Um, but that's, this is roughly, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be exactly this size. The important thing is going to be the length that we cut it. And so I'm going to do that now. Uh, the, the pieces that we're going to cut, and you can look at this graphic on your screen. So I'm going to go and cut those now and then we'll go from there. You can use a hand saw or a, table, or a uh, miter saw, um, whichever you have. So I've cut all this wood. Two 11s, two 12s, four 14 inches, and two 22 inches. And now we're going to drill them. And each one is going to be dr drilled in a slightly different pattern. So let me show you. The 11 inches, we're going to put those. And I'm, what I'm going to do is take a scrap piece of plywood, a uh, scrap piece of 2x4 to help me, uh, to show me where to put the screws. So that one on the 11 inch, we're going to lay it not like that, but like that. And we're going to draw a line on both sides. And that's just to help us see where the screw should go. And on the 11 inches, we're going to put a, a screw a hole there, a hole there, like that. But there, that's the 11 inches. The 12 inches, we're going to do a little different. We're going to actually use two pieces of scrap wood. We're going to lay one like that, and I'll just do these at the same time. And then the other one, so first that one, then that one, and we'll draw a line so that we can see where those screws go. And this one we're going to put a hole there, a hole there, a hole there, and a hole there. Okay, so that's the 11, the 12s. So then on these 14 inch ones, we'll lay these all out like that. Take a, another two by four and lay it right along the edge there. We can draw all of these at the same time. Draw a line and then on the ends of all these, we're going to put drill two holes at a diagonal like so. Okay. And then the 22 inch ones, uh, actually we don't need to drill the 22 inch. So that's it. So now let's drill a hole wherever we have the, the marks. And this is important. The, the um, drill bit absolutely has to be um, slightly bigger, the same size or really slightly bigger than the screw, whatever screw you decide to use. And this is a two and a half inch screw which, as you can see, will go through the 2 by 4 and bite into the, the other one. Uh, it's just the right length. Okay? So the key here is to have this, whatever drill bit you use, it needs to be bigger than the screw so that it makes a nice tight uh, bond when we screw the, the two pieces together. So let me go and drill all these now. So now that all the wood is cut and drilled, we're ready to put it together. There's one more step before we start screwing it together. And this is an optional step. You don't have to do this. It's just a way of making your pallet table a little prettier. Um, all the 14 inches and all the 12 inches, what we can do is take a put a, put a mark halfway across the 2x4. And this isn't critical, so just you can just do it by eye. And then take a 45-degree measurement. You can fold a corner of a piece of paper down to create a 45 degree if you need to. And then all I'm going to do is just draw a line like that. 
and then I'm going to cut that corner off. And I'll do that to all the 14 inches and all the 12 inches. And do it on the opposite end of where the holes are drilled. Okay, so we're going to cut it down on this end. Okay, so now that I've cut the, the angles off, the corners off of those four, those six pieces, the, the four 14 inch and the two 12 inch, uh, we're ready to start putting this together. Um, so the first thing is to grab a, a 22 inch and a 12 inch, and the 12 inch is going to screw on in such a way that the angle is up here. In other words, not like that, but like this. And the other thing is we want it to hang off the end that much. In other words, you don't want it flush like that. You want it to hang off the width of the two by of a two by four on edge like that. And right exactly flush with the bottom. So this should be flush. This should hang over the thickness of one two by four, like I have it and make it as square as you can. Check it and then take a single screw and using a hand screwdriver or a power screwdriver, screw in a single screw. Okay, so now it should be able to twist a little bit on that screw like that. Now, before we put the second one in, you know, this is where it's really important to check your angle. Put that there and then rotate this so that it's flush. So this is flush, flush. It's perfectly right, and that's important. So now that that's there, you want to really hold this in place tight. If you want to really make sure, you can put a clamp on it. But now we're going to take the next screw and go right in like that. And there it is. Now, if you really want to make it super duper strong, you can put some wood glue in between there before you tighten it down. Okay, so that's the first one. And then we're going to take the second one, the second 22 inch, and put another 12 inch on it. And same thing, but we need to make note of which side we're doing it on. The, the, uh, when we put this all together, it's going to look like this is the 11 inch. 11 inch goes there. And then the other 12 inch is going to go on the outside here. So the reason I'm putting this all together is so that I don't screw this on the wrong side like that. It needs to be there like that. So we'll take that one, set this aside, and now we're going to screw this one on the same way we did the other one. Make sure that it's the width there. Put in a single screw. Check the angle. Make sure it's exactly right. And put in the second screw. Okay, so now we have those two put together, and they're going to go like so. Now the next step is to put the 11 inch on the back here. It's on a perfectly flat surface, which it needs to be on. You can put it on your garage floor, whatever you need to do. And I'm going to first drill a single screw. Okay, and then I want to make, again, I want to make sure that it's the right angle. So make, check it and then drill the second one. Okay. 
Same thing on the other side. Okay, so now that we have the base built and we're gonna just attach the arms on up at the top. So we'll first attach one arm and this is gonna be a level arm, not, not that one, but this one first. And we're gonna make sure that this is slightly above, that this is slightly above this. So we don't want it perfectly level because we don't want this touching your palate. So we want to make sure that this arm is slightly higher than this. Just a little bit. So I'll put this single screw in first, making sure it's above right there. Okay, then I'll take my right angle and make sure that it's exactly 90 degrees. Just bump it a little bit until it is. Okay, and then uh, put in the second screw. Okay, attach to the next arm. Again, making sure that this is above this slightly. Put in a single screw first. Now, instead of making this square to this, instead of worrying about that, we don't want to do that. We want to just make sure that it's level with the other one. So I'm going to pick up a glass pallet and just set it on there like that and bump this one so that it's perfectly flat, okay? Best we can do. All right, now that that's, I've checked that, I'll put in a second screw. Okay. And that's nice and flat. <clears throat> All right, so the only thing left is to attach the other arms. So I'll take a, another 14 inch. And here, what we want to do is we want to, this should be, come over the, the same, to the same spot where this one is, but we just want to tilt it. Okay, and then you want to drop it down so that this cross is about halfway. Okay. Okay, get the first screw in, tilt it about that much, and put the second screw in. Okay, do the same thing with the next arm, the last arm. We're going to start with one screw, and then we'll check the level again with the other arm. Take your glass pallet again, lay it on there. Make sure that you're not onto this lower surface like that. You want to make sure you're completely up on the, on the upper arms without touching this or this because that'll throw you. So just slide it up a little bit and then adjust this. Really take your time on making sure these are level before you put that last screw in. Just bump it until it's just right. Okay, and now I'll just... There you have it. Um, the only thing left to do is to put some feet on the bottom. And the way I'm going to do that, I've already drilled these, but I just took a long stick like this. Don't cut out your little square blocks ahead of time. Take a long stick like this, drill your holes, and then cut them off. Because it's really hard to drill into a little piece of wood like that. So once I cut these off, then I'll just take a single screw and put a foot, 
one here, one here, one here, and one here. See? And you can figure out how to do that on your own. I don't need to show you that. But that's about it. The only last thing to do is if, after you've screwed everything in, if you find that, your arm, that this is not perfectly flat, looks like this one is, and it looks like this one is. But sometimes even after you've checked and checked, when you put in that last screw and it'll tilt just a little bit. So if it is not level, like this one has the slightest bit of space there, you just take a little piece of wood, just a small little piece of wood, very thin, and just glue it on there and then sand it down until you get this thing perfectly level. And that's it. There you have it. Pallet table.